What's good, world? Y'all already know who this is, man. This is Ace from the hit series, Never Enough. I want y'all to be in tune. Go to Always Up Film, man. Check out the new thing I got going on. It's called Rap Talk. Rap Talk. Brought to you by Always Up Film. You know, stay tuned, subscribe, follow, and share. I'll talk to y'all soon. I'm out. Yo, yo, yo. What's going on, world? This yo, is Always good? Raps, man, here with the one and only. Introduce yourself. Yo, this is the one and only Dot Drop Entertainment, man. LLC, don't leave the LLC off. That's what's up, man. So, yo, let the people know where you from and shit. Yo, man, um, so basically I was born in um, North New Jersey. Down Bottom, which we call Pen the Court, is called Down Bottom. We call it the bottom, because we way at the bottom, we feel like away from anything in North, you know what I'm saying? So we call it the bottom. It's pinning the cook. That's what's up, bro. So how long you been doing this music shit, though? Oh, man, I've been doing this shit all my life. Word, I've been rapping shit since it was tapes out. But I'm just getting motherfucking really serious and shit, getting my son into it. You know, I had an artist. Word, took the artist to a contract, shit like that, you know, so I've been rocking for probably like 20 something years now. That's what's up, man. So you've been in the game long enough to see how shit changed, how like different music, different artists come and go. So what would you say was your best era of music? Shit, uh, I'm, I gotta give it up to the, to the, to the golden age era of music. You know, before before me, like oh um, shit, you know the '80s, man, the '70s and '80s, shit, way before the rap scene and shit like that. Word up. That's what's up, bro. So, who, anybody inspired you to do music? Like any relatives, any family members loved music, and you just grew up listening to it, or? Yeah, yo, I had a cousin James and shit. Or when I was small and shit, word, he used to rap his ass off, man. He were and then, you know, I got we had an OG in the hood named She. Shout out to Rashid Berry. Word, we had an OG in the hood and DJ She. He used to freestyle, he still do. He had us in the studio and it was tapes recording us doing interviews and stuff like that, word up. So I basically learned from like some OGs and older niggas and family members. So what you listen to when you're in your G-Ride, like you riding out, what you throwing that, uh, you know, connect to your Bluetooth or CD, who you listen to? Shit, well I be listening to me, my son, uh, niggas from North, a lot of red, man. A lot, of, uh, a lot of local artists. Industry-wise, I fuck with, man. You know, Jay, Gotti, uh, what's the new boy in there? S -T -S -T -E -S -T -G, Lil Baby, you know, the ones that's rocking hard, talking the truth, speaking the truth, word. That's what's up, man. And, and growing up in Newark, man, I know you seen some crazy shit. You know what I mean? I know you been through certain things. I know you seen certain things, so it's like, uh, in my opinion, you know, me growing up in an urban neighborhood as well, it's like, to me, it feel like it only make you stronger, you know what I'm saying? Everything that you see, you look back at it and say, all right, I shouldn't have seen it, but you learn from it, you know what I mean? So, what would you say that you had to learn from so you could go harder to get to where you want to go? Shit, well, since I opened my eyes, I was in the inside the life, per se, you know what I'm saying? So. Shit, the things I seen, you know, ain't nothing different than probably any other person who grew up in a poor neighborhood, you know what I'm saying? Killings, drug dealing, you know, poverty, things that come from poverty, things that come from us not having. We do a lot of things because we don't have, you know what I'm saying? So, I seen a lot of that type of stuff. Word up. That's what's up, man. So, who, who, out of every all your tracks that you may have recorded, do you got any favorites? Yeah, man, I, um, let me uh, first say, before I talk about the favorite, free all my brothers and sisters, man, locked down. Free all the political prisoners, man, locked down, first of all, word up. And um, back to the question, yeah, man, I got a favorite joint. It's called Assassination of Generations. And um, I got another joint called Blizzy That, word up. Free my brother Blizzy, Ill Mill, y'all already know, man. Word. Yes, but them two of my personal favorites of my own joint. 
Any new projects you want the people to look out for? Yeah, man, I got a lot of joints coming out. I'm telling you, I'm just getting started, word. I'm a veteran, but a rookie in the game, you know what I'm saying? But not as far as recording this stuff. I'm, we, we gonna get to it this year, word, run. That's what's up, man. So how can the people get in contact with you? Like, give them your, your social media outlet. Yo, man, my Instagram is dot drop. E N T L L C on Facebook and uh, Instagram. Where you can get at me through there. Word up. And a YouTube too, man. That drop entertainment LLC. We on everything. That's we. That's the name. That's the brand. And, 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 and the, the the good thing is, you know, about this interview, I noticed you said LLC. So when I think LLC, I think of you being your business owner. Word. So how do you feel? Being your own business owner, like, do you do 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 you feel its advantages? Do you yeah, feel its definitely, disadvantages? Definitely. See, the difference when you just shouting out a label name and it ain't officially on the paperwork, you can get sued for things like that. You using names and stuff like that. So when you get your EIN number and it's LLC, it, it protects you from being sued from certain things. You know what I'm saying? Then you officially your own boss. You would want to, you get grants and shit like that from stuff being your own boss. Grants, PPP loans, everything. You want that. You want to get in on that. Get your LLC. Get your kids an LLC. Word. That's what's up, man. And it's good we got somebody from the community that's really talking about people that could become their own business owners. Some people see it on TV and feel we have to do it the way they done it. But in all actuality, if you put your mind to something, you could get it done. So I respect the fact that you saying you have your own LLC. Word. I respect that to the fullest. You know, more of our people need to get their own LLC. What you think about that? No doubt. Hell yeah, man. That's something. When your kids turn about 17, 18, you definitely want to get them an LLC, man. Because there's a lot of things that our people really don't know far as like that. Well, you know, people know. But it's a lot that a lot of our people don't know. So you get your LCs, you be eligible for a lot of these grants, money, shit like that from the banks. You do you can do a lot with it. So definitely get your LC. But first you get your EIN number, which is a employee identification number. You just hit your local state, call them up, or you can Google it and find out and you apply straight through the Google. You know what I'm saying? It's easy. Nothing. Straight through the phone. Word up. That's what's up, man. So do you know any other, like, you know, minority business owners that pretty much came from the area you came from? Yeah, man. Shit. Well, I, like I said, I grew up under a lot of OGs. So, man, they had stores in the 90s and 80s. That's so that's like, before I even knew what the hell a store was, owning anything. You know what I'm saying? So yeah, I grew up under some OGs, a lot of them, almost a lot of niggas, like about 10 niggas from my hood had stores and stuff, you know what I'm saying? I mean, my man had a store, we were in Morristown when we was a little younger. We ain't know how to really operate it though, so you know, now we full-fledged. We know a little more knowledge on the business and being a business owner, so we here. That's Word. what's up, man. Every More people need to take the initiative to pretty much create lanes of their own instead of waiting for people to give it to them, you know? But unfortunately, there's not too many opportunities where we where we was raised and where we grew up at. So for the ones that feel they don't got no hope, what can you say to inspire them to just, you know, keep it going and you can do it as long as you stay in the right path? Man, yo, the right path, is first of all, the right path is mentally what you figure it out to be. You first gotta find out who you is, and then your path will open up. Once you find out who self is, work on self first, your right path will shit and open up and you'll see. It, it won't, trust me, it won't be no obstacles. You'll see straight ahead once you find who you really are. And, and just, man, it, it don't matter where you come from, man. Don't let that environment hold you back, man. I see so many niggas and people, excuse my friends, not niggas, but so many brothers and sisters, man, talk about where they from for years and years and never get out because of that. Like, and, it's, and, and, and another thing is the language. Change your language. A lot of things we talk, 
was was taught to us by another group of people. So we got to learn how to talk better too. Word, man. But don't let no environment hold you back. We from no pain. You know, we all deal with death. We all deal with a lot of things. We losing people a lot. You know, we got coronavirus, quote unquote. So a lot of things, the world is crazy right now, but don't even let that stop you, man. Word up. Just keep going. Focus on what you want to do. Lock in on it and take baby steps till you get the word. That's what's up, man. And I appreciate you. A lot of y'all don't know, but that drop was also played tone in the web series that I wrote and produced for called Never Enough. So we had, you know, I had, I, I had him as tone. You know, he did a wonderful job throughout season one, season two. Thank you. So, um, what would you say is your best character as in an actor or would you rather do music? Shit, well, you know, music, music is, to me, music is everything. I, 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 I integrate acting and music all together, you know what I'm saying? So, music is basically everything, man, and, and acting come with it to me, so I, I wouldn't really choose one or the other. Word, it's just like all together for me, word, man. I've been acting before, like, same time as I've been rapping, word. I'm on HBO in the 90s, probably like 1991 when I was real young on a uh, drug program special. I'm on HBO again on for HIV special. It's called Sisters with HIV. Check that out. Word, I'm on there doing an interview when I was younger. So just hit YouTube up, man. Dot Drop Entertainment LLC, go on the playlist. Word, man. Shout out all my brothers that got the uh, LLCs and everybody that's gonna get the LLCs, man. Keep going for what you wanna get, man. Get it, man. Man, that's what's up. Yo, Dot Drop, bro. Like, I appreciate you for doing this interview. Word. I appreciate you for being a part of my series, Never Enough. I appreciate you, bro. And I just wanna say, man, keep doing. You know, I'm going to support you. I'm going to be here. You support me, I'm going to support you. So, before you, before we sign off, bro, any shout-outs you want to give? Yo, man, shit. I got a lot of people to shout-out. I'm going to miss some, but, you know, y'all know who y'all is, man. Shout-out my brother, man. Cody on, Monster Cody on Beats. 